Håkan from Eriks Hooks and today I'm going to try a daddy long leg or a crane fly. Uh, I've used a lot of material that will make this fly float long and, and stay in the surface for a long time. I'm using foam, I'm using CDC and I'm also using chamois hair which is close to deer hair. I'm using the Arex freshwater hook, the FW504. This is the size 10. And we set the thread. The abdomen of the fly is made of foam strips, brown foam strips, which I've shaped with the sort of segmentation of the, the abdomen. And for that reason, <coughs> I've used a lighter and a pair of pliers. And I just heat up the tip of the pliers and just carefully melt this segmentation. Easy, but looks quite nice. So I tie in the abdomen like this and I don't cut off the rest of the foam because I'm going to use that for, well, you can call it a wing case or whatever, but I will fold this over the fly to keep everything in place. And for the wings, I'm using small hackle feathers. I'm using Cree on this fly, but you can also use Dun or, or, or Dark Dun. So I tie in one feather on each side of the abdomen. They can be close as long as the abdomen. that and then we tie them down and cut off the waist and for the thorax and the legs I'm actually using two dubbing loops so I make one loop and I make another one and this last I made is the first I'm using. And I've trapped two CDC feathers into a plastic clamp. Uh, and I will be using these fibers to build up the thorax. And this will help the fly to, to float. So we open the loop and put the twister in. catch the CDC fibers and spin the twister and then we wind the CDC fibers over the hook shank it doesn't need to be touching turns just as long as you cover most of it you can trim the CDC a bit more if you want but I, I trim the underside of the fly when it's all done so it, it can wait until then and to imitate the legs of the fly I'm using chamois which is uh, alpine deer goat from Switzerland uh, but it's it's close to deer or elk hair so you can use that if you if you don't find a chamois I'm using a clamp to catch some of the, the hair. I don't need that much hair, just a few strands to, to make it look like legs. And these, this hair will also help the fly to float longer. So now I'm using the second dubbing loop. Put the hair into it and just 
spin the twister again. And make sure it's evenly separated. And then I just make two or three turns through the CDC. And make sure that there are long hair standing out on every side and just tie it in. And then I separate the fibers on top of the fly and just pull the foam over it and tie it down. Trim off as much as possible and make a head. And then I pull out the hair and see the C, and then I cut off most of it on the other side. And if there are any hair too long, or if you think you have too much, just cut off more or just pull them off. I mean, you will be losing some of this hair when you're fishing, but this is, this is enough for keeping the fly to float for a long while. And there you have your daddy long leg.